Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and today I've got another day in the life video for you. And this is just a working title right now. Um, this series of videos is going to be what kind of comes in from day to day. And sometimes it's going to be a really short video. Hey, I'm doing this, just finished up this build, or um, got this in for review, going to be doing a review in the next couple of days. And sometimes it'll be a little bit more longer, which this is, but I could use your guys' help in naming this series of videos. Um, if you have any ideas of what to call this series, which is, you know, I'm a full-time custom builder, and this is going to be kind of just, this is what's happening today in my shop. So I could really use your help and leave those in the comment section. But today for you, we've got a really interesting one. Well, I think it's really interesting because this is the highly anticipated new Pyrodrone Hyperlite frame. Now, Serge over at Pyrodrone's a friend of mine. Um, he's not only an amazing flyer, he's just a really good guy to deal with. And um, his website, PyroFlipRC.com, um, is selling these frames in a in two just standard frame versions and two ready to fly versions, and we'll go over that in a section in a second. I'm also selling the ready to fly version on my website, which is xframesfpv.com. But this is the new Hyperlite, and as you can see, it's basic. It is a stretched X frame, and I apologize for all the noises that are going on this morning. We've got uh, planes flying overhead and everything else, but this is the life we live as a YouTuber. So, um, but this is a stretched X frame, and what that does is it it stretches it out, and you get really fast forward flight with this, and um, for racing, it just really works well and is fast and it wants to kind of hold the line and turn in really well. And, um, so I expect that this thing is going to be one of the most popular frames out there because it, it lives up to all the hype that has been around this, um, as we're waiting for it to be released. So in addition to, um, a his new frame, his Hyperlite series of frames. He's also, you can get Hyperlite ESCs. And these are basically, sorry for the bump there, guys. These are basically XM30s and, or I'm sorry, XM20s. And um, we all know how good of an ESC that is. Probably one of the most widely used ESC in the industry right now. And so... That's what's going in in the ready to fly for ESCs. As far as motors, well, these are Hyperlites. These are basically ZMX V3s that have been rebranded, and um, that is another motor that is just absolutely an amazing motor. A um, lot of power, really, really smooth. And um, if you want to do a little more research on the ZMX V3, you'll find that there's just a really big following. Um, this one's going to get the F3 board. It's going to either be an SP F3 or an F303 board right now, and this one's going an F3 board. So I talked about just the frame. So he has a standard frame and a deluxe frame. And a standard frame is basically just the frame without this 3D printed camera mount. And then the deluxe frame gets a, Mate a standard Matek PDB with 5 and 12 volts. It gets the camera mount that also has mounting positions here for your antennas. It gets this LED that is basically allows for um, straight board power, so you don't have to run 5 volts to it. And this also 3D printed housing here and, and the nice thing about this let me see if I can get this in here while we're on the video here okay anyways I'm not going to do it because it's going to take me too long but it protects these you know as you can see here on this it it has a tendency to stick up a little bit here in this area okay and so this this is is not only an easy way to mount it you basically double stick tape it to the frame, but it also allows for protection. So um, as far as 
the camera right now. Um, in the future, we'll have a pyro drone camera. We're out right now, so our surge is out. I'm sorry, I say we because I'm doing these builds for him. Um, so right now, it'll get the the run cam 600 TVL and the pyro drone 200 milliwatt VTX. And like I said, um, I don't know if I've said, but this is for my customer, and he's upgraded to the Hub OSD PDB. So um, that's also an option on Surge's website. It adds a little bit of money to it, but it is an option. So pretty exciting time. I'm going to be doing a bunch of these builds. I have right now, because um, the frames just, just got in in the last couple of days, I've got two that I'm working on for my own customers and then quite a few for Surge's customers. Um, in the ready-to-fly fly version, you can get an either FR Sky version. It'll be programmed um, through Clean Flight. PIDs will be programmed. Um, it will have, it'll have a flight test, that, like a hover test, just to make sure everything's working properly and then ship out. Same thing with the Spectrum. You can get the Spectrum. Um, I believe the receiver that's going in is the Quad Racer receiver. So pretty exciting time for Pyro Drone over at Surge, Surge's shop. Exciting time here because I've just been really waiting for these frames to be able to get them to my customers. And so that's what's going on. I hope you guys are getting something out of these videos. If, if there's something I'm, if I'm not giving enough content or if there's something that you're looking for, please put it in the comment section and I really try hard to answer those quickly. And, um, that's really about it on this video. Subscribe, like, comment. My website is xframesfpv.com. That's xframesfpv.com. And I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you get a little bit of time to fly.